Our coverage on the search for Emma Kennedy continues tonight with 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer. We are covering this big story from all angles tonight. Shane joins us live from the gas station from where police say the father abducted his seven month old. And Shane, I understand that you just spoke with the gas station owner. Brittany, just within the last 15 minutes, we spoke with the gas station owner here at the quick stop who said last night, Sunday night around 8 o'clock, it was a normal light like he has every Sunday night and that one of his customers came walking in the door and said that there were some folks arguing outside in the parking lot. He did not actually have eyes on him at the time because of the customers that he was taking care of at the counter, but he walked outside and saw some people arguing. He said that he didn't want to be involved in their business, so he went inside. He asked them to leave and he also called police. Then he found out that something very much worse had happened and that's when things got worse. Let's listen to see what he said about what he saw happen with that car and that baby. Like guy came right around the car and opened the door on the driving seat because he was that lady was in the driving seat. And again they were crawling with each other. And uh, after that uh, I saw that uh, he opened the back side door of the car and took one baby out. Then only we come to know that there was a baby also. And he took the baby and he get onto his car and he left. So that lady was fully helpless that she can't do anything. And again, he says that's when things got very serious when he saw the baby taken out of that car and then the father take off. He said the mother was very hysterical and that the police were here within five to eight minutes. He said that he spent last night most of the night with the police. He also spent time with the police this morning uh, going over some security footage that he has here at the store. Uh, he will not be sharing that security footage with us this evening due to the request of the police asking him to keep that private. Police are not sharing the full video with us either. Just those two stills that you saw earlier of the car going away. For now, live in Danville, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.